What's up YouTube, it's Adam from Atma Music Mogul. And today's video is a follow-up video to my previous tutorial on how to create custom kits in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. Right here I got EXS24's editor window up and I just wanted to take you through some of the zones that you will and may want to use when creating your own custom kits, some of which you're gonna probably use a lot of the time. Now, one of the questions I got in the previous video was how can I change the volume of my individual samples within the kit? Well, that's simple. Here is my sample right here. And if you go to the zones here, each one of these is called a zone. If you look under the mixer zone, you have a volume uh, area right here. So if I hit my sample and I lower the volume, of course, that's going to lower the volume. And that's really quiet. And of course, you can bring it up as well. The next thing in the mixer zone, you also have pan. So if you want to actually pan within your kit, you can do that as well. So if you want your hi-hats to be on the left or on the right, whatever it may be, whether you're doing from the drummer's perspective or the audience perspective, you can pan that right inside the kit. So if you bring it down all the way down to minus 100, that will go all the way to the left. And of course, plus will go to the right. The next thing I want to show you is this section right here, playback. Now, the one that you're probably going to want to manipulate when you are working with samples, actually longer samples like this one, is this one shot right here. What one shot means is when I hit the key, it's going to play that whole entire sample for its entirety. But if I uncheck that and go hit, hit the key, it's going to play that sample for as long as I'm holding down the key. So that's a good thing to know when you're actually sampling off uh, records and you have to kind of work with stuff like that. Uh, another cool thing under playback is reverse. You can actually reverse sample straight in the editor. So if I hit reverse, of course it reverses it. Another one that I want to show you for uh, all you sampler guys out there is the loop feature. So if I go ahead and open up my group, oops, sorry my view area right here. So if I don't see a zone here, if you don't see mixer or playback zone in your screen, go to view and make sure you have a check mark next to mixer playback. And this one I'm gonna bring in loop. So loop is all the way over here. What loop means is as long as I hold down the key, it's actually gonna loop that sample for me. Pretty cool, huh? Now if it's off, of course, it's only gonna play it once as long as I hold down the key. I'm gonna leave that on because, well, you kinda want to let that ride. Now another thing I want to show you with Logic's EXS24 Windows, how you could create uh, sort of snare rolls that you hear in popular music. Right here I got a snare. Now if you want to drag that across your keyboard, all you would have to do is take that sample, go to the right of it and drag it up an octave, and of course down an octave. Typically, you don't wanna go higher than that because then the sample just gets all weird sounding. And then you can go ahead and play that sample. And of course you get different pitches of that sample, but you gotta make sure your pitch is on over here. If it's not, the sample is gonna be the same pitch across the whole entire area that you have dragged the sample across. So make sure you have your pitch selected on playback and you can create snare rolls just like that. Or if you want to pitch anything else, maybe it's a vocal, you want to go higher to lower, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and do that. Just drag out your sample a couple octaves and you're good to go on your sampling. Also, one more thing I actually want to show you. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. I'm not going to save that. If you want to go ahead and just transpose or tune the whole entire kit itself. There's a tuning right here. And if you raise it up, you can raise it up an entire octave. So if you go plus 12, that's an entire octave and you can go all the way up to two octaves up and two octaves down. So if you ever want to tune your own kit entirely, 
that is where you want to do it right there. So again, if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. For more good videos, remember to subscribe. And more good videos are always coming soon. So remember to keep checking back uh, what's happening on the Ama Music Mogul. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.